Hey, what's up tennis fans? I'm James Watterson and I've got your Tennis Now Tennis News for the 15th and final day of the US Open. And what a momentous day it was. World number one Novak Djokovic is the 2011 US Open champion. He defeated defending champion Rafael Nadal 6-2, 6-4, 6-7, 6-1 in a four-hour battle that saw some of the best shot making of the year. Now Djokovic started nervously as he dropped serve in the second game to go down to love. For a moment, Nadal looked as if he could run away with the set, but in his next service game he hit a forehand long to bring the set back on serve. The serve fought back from 15.40 to hold in his next service game, and then he went on a four game run that saw him close out the set in 53 minutes. Once again, Nadal broke early and claimed a two love lead. Djokovic broke back in a game that lasted 17 minutes that saw him hit an unretrievable return on three of Nadal's game points. He used that momentum to claim the next three games before Nadal held to reach 3-4 and then broke back to level the set. The Spaniard looked to be in the ascendancy, but he missed two inside out forehands to drop serve for the third time in the set. Djokovic cruised through his final service game to take what looked to be an insurmountable two set lead. The world number one broke Nadal early in the third set, but he couldn't hold on to his advantage as both players traded breaks throughout the set. Most notably, Djokovic broke Nadal's serve at 5 all with a stunning down the line backhand and he was two points away from winning the US Open title at 6-5 before Nadal stormed back to break again. Nadal took complete control of the tiebreaker and after 3 hours and 27 minutes, the match headed into the fourth set. Djokovic appeared to struggle with his back and he took a medical timeout after he held his first service game in the set. Yet it was the serve who drew first blood in the fourth set as he broke Nadal in, in his first service game to go up 2-love. He held to go up 3-love and although Nadal held with relative ease, it was obvious that the strain of the match got the better of him. Djokovic plowed through his Spanish opponent in the rest of the match, and after more than four hours, the Serbs sealed the win with the cross-court forehand winner. The world's number one has now won four Grand Slam singles titles, which ties him with Jim Courier and Guillermo Vilas. Djokovic also joins Nadal, Roger Federer, Mats Wielander, and Jimmy Connors in the elite group of players who won three Grand Slam titles in a single year. In other news, Serena Williams has been fined $2,000 by the USTA for her outburst at chair umpire Eva Azdaraki during her defeat to Samantha Stozer in the US Open Women's Final yesterday. Now for those who haven't heard, in the first game of the second set facing a break point, Williams struck a strong forehand she thought was a winner yelling, come on, before Stozer hit the ball. Azdaraki gave Stozer the point, citing the hindrance rule which states if a player is hindered in playing the point by a deliberate act of the opponent, the player shall win the point. Serena reacted to the loss of the point by berating the umpire at the change of ends when she was leading 2-1, and that's when she received the code violation for verbal abuse. After the match, the USTA said that they were looking into the video footage to, of the event to decide what the punishment should be, if there should be one at all. Serena could have been in hot water as she was already under probation for her actions in the 2009 US Open semifinal against Kim Kleisters. If her conduct was judged to be a major offense, her original $82,500 fine from that incident would have been doubled and she could have been suspended from another Grand Slam event. Now earlier today, the USTA decided that although Serena was verbally abusive, her conduct didn't warrant a major offense charge and the $2,000 fine was consistent with fines levied at other Grand Slam tournaments. The USTA said that money from the fine will go to the Grand Slam Development Fund, which will be used to develop tennis programs around the world. And that does it from us. Remember to follow us on Twitter and Facebook to stay up to date with all of the news from the world of tennis throughout the year. And subscribe to our channel on YouTube to see when we upload new news or instructional videos. Now from all of us at Tennis Now, thank you so much for tuning in during the US Open, and I will see you guys again on Friday.